Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's so good to see you. If you're new here, my name is Rachel and I am the owner of Turn of the Century Antiques, which is a doll shop out here in Denver, Colorado. And if you're not new here, which I know you're not, welcome back. I love having you here. So we've been excited about our recent doll haul that we have from Helen Kish. And if you haven't heard of Helen Kish, look her up. She is a legend in the doll community. She is an incredible artist and she happens to live out here in Colorado. So we have done a lot of work with Helen over the years. We've had a lot of her dolls over the years and she is magical. She is magical. Her dolls are incredible. She has an, she has an amazing range of dolls and she is such a sweet and wonderful person. We all love Helen. So I have been asking Helen for a while to do an exclusive for the doll shop. And we've had our dolls here for uh, about a month. A couple of you have seen the boxes in, in videos over the last couple of weeks saying, you know, when are you gonna release the Helen Kish dolls? Well, I was going to save them and we will show you what's going on behind us. We're, it, things are getting a little crazy around here and I've been kind of hankering for, for to update our site and have some fun dolls. So we're releasing our Helen Kish dolls. We have, who is called Tiny Tulu. She is so cute. We have a very, very small edition of 30 Tiny Tulus in red hair and blonde hair and they are so cute. I'm gonna unbox them here and then we also have some pictures that Ernesto took. One thing I wanted to share if you haven't seen her is this incredible Runa that she made for me, this wonderful, incredible outfit. And this is a doll that she gave when we had our Christmas pageant last, not, not, not this last December, but the one before in 2020. And she's one of my favorite dolls. She stays in my Christmas exhibit all the time. Helen is extremely picky with her fabrics and her sewing and it's, it's all about the face. She's an incredible sculptor and she is such a great sewer and she just has an eye for fabric. I'm gonna show you, look at the, look at the back of this jacket. This is a, a, an amazing doll that she sewed herself and, and did. So I wanted to just share this Runa if you haven't seen her. Now, before we open the dolls, you might be wondering what the heck these are. And this is a gift that Helen gave us to give to you if you order a Tiny Tulu. These are her little frecklings. And it's just a total departure. It's something totally different that she did. But she thought that they were really fun, and they are. Ernesto said that the guy reminded him of one of his neighbors in San Francisco. <laughs> so I think it's a really, really cute and little set and um, we only have 30 of each doll, but the first 20 orders come with a free little freckling sculpture from Helen Kish. So I really like the color schemes here and it's just silly fun. See, they're getting married. Look at these little frecklings. That's what she called them, frecklings. So loads of fun. So if you, if you order the doll, you do get that. Now let's go ahead and open our tiny Tulus. One thing that I want to share is that we have exciting pricing on the tiny Tulus. They usually retail around $250 and our tiny Tulus are only $195. We're doing a good deal for everybody. So I am going to open our first one. So I don't know if this is our blonde or our brunette. Oh, it's the blonde. Oh, she's so sweet. Okay, I'm going to show you what she looks like right in the box. Now again, Tiny Tulu is such a sweet doll. She's part of Riley's world and she is absolutely darling. Look at the fabrics and, and everything. I just love their little round faces. Now I'm gonna bring up the pictures on the screen. She's so, so sweet and she's perfect for spring. I didn't want, and summer, I didn't want the whole summer to go by without us um, introducing these beautiful dolls into our shop. So this is the blonde. Now we also have a redhead. Don't you just love a redhead? This one, go ahead and open her so you can see. Oh, she's so sweet. Now this is more of an autumn type color scheme on her dress but look at how cute she is. Their round faces kind of remind me of Holland Diane. 
let me look at the ears. If they had ears that were sticking out like hers, which we love that about her, they would look like Holland Day and they are so cute. And again, the fabrics, the embroidery, everything. Helen just has such an eye for detail and they are just adorable. So if you want to treat yourself, you can receive one of our little tiny two loose, super limited. We only have 30 of each and get the, get the freckling set. Now what's going to happen tomorrow, which is very exciting is in 2019, Helen Kish did a face up class with us for the virtual doll convention. What is a face up? Well, that's when you take a doll that has an existing painted face and you change it. There's a lot of face up artists out there that are incredible and they do amazing work. And Helen shows you in this video, it's almost an hour long tutorial with Helen showing you her tips and tricks of how to do a face up. You may have seen it if you attended that convention, but if you didn't, we took our material from that event and I sent it to my editor for him to optimize as most he could. And we're gonna air that tomorrow so that you can learn face up techniques from Helen Kish. I filmed that video, that tutorial, like a lot of my tutorials back before I knew what I was doing, really. I, I was out there doing it and I'm really proud of myself for doing that, but it was before I had a fancy camera, a good editor, microphones, all the things that I should have had at the time, but I was out there doing it. So I'm proud of myself for that. But if I could do it again, the footage would be in higher resolution, but it's pretty darn good. So we're gonna be releasing and showing that video, which I have never put out publicly, tomorrow. These dolls are going to be available right now. <laughs> they are available on the Virtual Doll Convention website in the VDC gift shop. There is a link right in this video to purchase. And if you want to get one, I, I know you won't regret it. They're absolutely adorable. One thing we're gonna show you across the room is in addition to the tiny Tulus that we have, we have some dolls from Helen's stash that she was going to do some different things with and never did. She is, is allowing us to sell them and they are perfect if you want to buy one to dress or to do your face up with. So if you want to attend Helen's class and you want to get a doll to do a face up with, the dolls that I'm going to show you next in this box are going to be listed on our site. Here's the catch. You're getting a mystery doll. You know how much I love mystery dolls and, and mystery in general because it's so fun. We always send you something awesome, but you're going to get one of the dolls in the box and you can't choose which one because we're offering them at a crazy price and you, they're all beautiful. So let's go look in the box and check it out. All right. So we're in the back of the front of the back of the front of the store, and I'm going to show you some of these dolls. Now they look kind of thrown in here, but they're really not. They're just kind of hanging out in here. These are large. So if you're going to go through, if you're going to snag a tiny Tulu, then you should get one of these too, because they are incredibly articulated and they are just, they're so amazing for a doll artist to, you can dress these and, and, have them just as is, or you can use them for the face-up class with Helen. Now, not, most of them are all pretty darn large. Look at the look at this one. Look how sweet she is. This is a this is a this is a haul. This is like this is so good. Now, not all of them have wigs. Most, um, but I would say about half of them have wigs. Now, look at this one. So she she gave these. We're selling these for her because they are perfect for the face-up class. A lot of these you can tell are hand-painted by Helen. So those, that's cool. One thing Helen is famous for with her dolls is the lips and they're Helen's lips. Helen has big, wonderful, voluptuous, full lips, kind of like mine, except hers are even better. They're even bigger and they're her wonderful lips but look at the lips okay this is joe this is a model that came out in 2007 those are helen's lips big big beautiful lips <laughs> can't stress it enough look at that they and they almost all have them so these are again amazing for projects this is olivia from 2011 
jointed. Very, very, very cool. To make these dolls these days is hundreds of dollars per doll. It is just incredible how much it costs to do things anymore. Here's a, this is a large Joe, but how fun. Look at the ears. Love those ears. Okay, so I think we have about 30 of these. These will be in the BDC gift shop as well, next to the tiny two loops. And if, you, if you're hankering for a project, these are just so great. Now they're all gonna be a pretty decent sized doll. Like we're not gonna list this little guy. This is a, I think this is, oh, it's Kendall. Oh, we're being paged by Holland Diane. So let's go see what she has to say. Okay, so we got Sister Bean here. She's was taking a nap and now she's gonna hang out with us a little bit. Say hi. She's a little groggy, but isn't a baby fresh out of a nap? It's just one of your favorite things. They're so ooey gooey sweet. I'm sorry, I can't give you a big old smooch because I got lipstick on. Hi, honey. Oh, she's looking. She's like, what is that? What is that? So, that's so sweet. We have another box of Helen Kitsch dolls, though, that I want to show everybody. I think we have 30 of this other doll. So, maybe we can put Sister in her little shuttle. Is her shuttle up here? Oh, yeah. She's, she's got, got a little fort. Okay, she's got her fort. So, we're going to put her in her fort, and then I'm going to show you the last batch of dolls that is available. So, we have Tiny Tulu, we have the Face Up Project dolls, and then we have one other batch of dolls that are such a good deal that you can use for your projects as well. So let's put Honey honey, Love in her fort. <laughs> and then we'll look at the last batch. This is the four, look at, she's like, look at her face. She's, <laughs> she's like, how could you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is her fort. She actually usually likes it. I don't know why she's giving us this face, but she makes us laugh so much. Look at her expression. She's so funny. So that's what Stanley built so she can have little little things that hang down, huh? Okay, let me, oh, here they are. I can kind of do this. Oh, they're called Electra. This is Electra. Now these are, you can use these to sew for, redress, face up, do whatever you want as well. And so, but Electra, these come in the box, they're just not dressed. But look at her, she is awesome. And this is a big doll. She's, this came out in, this came out for Modern Doll Collectors Convention in 2003 and was limited to 300. Helen probably was gonna dress her for that convention, and we got the back stock, so these, this is the overage of that doll, and she's fabulous. So she will be listed as well. They're not clothed, so, which kind of makes it fun. Now we gotta get sister out from her fort and give her something to eat, huh? Well, thank you so much for joining our video. Remember, tomorrow we have the Face Up class publishing on this page on Facebook and on YouTube with Helen, so you can learn a lot just from watching. And uh, yeah, we love hanging out with you, huh, honeys? Ha, huh, honeys? It was fun to hang out with you. Hope you enjoyed seeing what's going on here a little bit. The, the shop is crazy, we're doing a lot of stuff, but hey, I'm thankful to be busy. I'm thankful to have everybody and to be doing videos and have this baby and to do all the things that we do, huh? Yes. Thank you, Helen. Bye, everybody.